That weird dude Rafe can't wait to see what Jack did with his wine. Let's hope today, aloha means hello. Can't wait to see what uh, you came up with. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Good enough for your grandpa. Right? <laughs> I think it's gonna work out. Let's do it, yeah. All right, let's do it. Cool. I've always been a big fan of, of everyone at the shop and of Jack Phalanx. You know, he's sort of the bad boy of, in the pizza world. He's done some more of the grimier styles of pizza. So, uh, what brings you to uh, Miami? I actually work in the water slide industry. Oh, um, nice. Yeah, yeah. Design uh, slides, or? No, I'm actually, uh, I work in the, um, the valves for the purification systems. Oh, that's not interesting. My grandfather actually served on the naval base in Hawaii during the attacks of Pearl Harbor. Is this a tribute to him because he served? Yeah. Uh, Pearl Harbor, I mean, that was a terrible day. Yeah, I know, I know it was a terrible day, but does, does yeah. he like like Hawaiian pizzas? or? It's sort of a, more of a metaphorical connection. My grandfather actually <laughs> raised me. Oh, so you were raised by your grandfather? Yeah. My parents were abducted by a cult in the late 80s, actually, and um, my grandfather sort of took me under his wing. Sounds like a really cool dude. My grandfather's been a large part of my life. So your grandfather, did he teach you all about the war and stuff? Did my grandfather was really influenced by the um, Michael Bay film, Pearl Harbor. It's great film. Yeah. Right. My birth name is actually Martin. My grandfather decided that it'd be better for him and, and I guess me if he decided to start calling me Rafe after his favorite character in the movie, Pearl Harbor. Wait, but you're not old enough to, that was 2001, right? My grandfather was actually friends with the real Rafe McCauley, so he started to call me Rafe before the movie came out, but when the movie came out and did as well as it did, the name kind of caught on with my friends. You were named after the real Rafe? Yes. Oh, wow, that's cool, man. Yep, a lot of people have assumed that my grandfather is in fact Ben Affleck's character, Rafe. To them I say, no, actually he was uh, Josh Hartnett's character, Captain Danny Walker. Oh, Danny Walker, yeah, Danny, Dan, yeah, Daniel, yeah, totally. my grandfather's Daniel, yep. So Rafe mentioned that his uh, grandfather served in Pearl Harbor. I'm a huge fan of uh, pretty much any Pearl Harbor movie. I, I love From Here to Eternity. Pearl Harbor's like the Holocaust, that was all conspiracy. Yeah, man, my man, his grandfather is in that shit, bro. I don't know if that's really cool to say. I think Rafe's full of shit. He's just like one of those believers. I like the movie, because like, it was all fantasy. So I guess it's like a couple meanings there. I saw the movie, I saw Josh Hartnett, I saw him in that role. He instilled this love of acting. I started a stage adaptation, actually, of the first really? act. Yeah, the first act of Pearl Harbor. Wow. Sort of threw away some of Josh Hartnett's objectives and motivations for the scenes and kind of just talked to my grandfather about what he would have done. And I said, you know, okay, this is my chance. I've always had a love for acting and dancing. I'm gonna pursue my, my dream. Hear this? Jack seemed to definitely perk up when I mentioned my acting career. And then I decided, okay, I'm moving to Miami. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna pursue the dream. Yeah, yeah. Legally, I probably will not change my name to Rafe. When I'm sorta on stage in character, I'm Rafe. When I'm driving around, just grabbing a Starbucks, I'm uh, Martin. That's great, man. How's, how's it been going? Yeah, it's going. It's fucking tough, bro, I know. Some days like this, you catch me out back, just snorting whatever the fuck I can find. I mean, one day I was snorting flour, I didn't even know. But yeah, next time I uh, have a, a movie premiere, we could go together. You bring me? Yeah. Oh man, I'd love to. <laughs> yeah, you'll be my date. Jack was joking that he should come to the red carpet with me. Um, so I will definitely give Jack a call and stop by the shop, maybe even get a pizza beforehand. <laughs> what do you think your grandfather would think about the pizza if he was if he was around? If he could see me here today, he'd just he'd love it. Yeah, man, it sounded like he was a great guy. Yeah, but he just, you know, being in Fort Lauderdale now and everything like that, just the commute is kind of a pain in the neck, so he's got a tennis lesson too today. So your grandfather's alive? Oh yeah, no, he's alive. He still plays tennis? He's actually a tennis instructor. It was kind of refreshing when Rave said his grandfather's still alive and he was in Fort Lauderdale. He's actually a tennis instructor, if you can believe it. So, you know, I think uh, one day I'm gonna go get some tennis lessons from him. This pizza is really important to me, and I, you know, I knew I had to come here and get it done by a true artist. But every time I think about this pizza, it's just gonna propel me to the next level of my uh, my art. All right, man. Well, I think uh, I think it's ready. Let's go uh, check it out and uh, see how it looks. <laughs> That's better than I could have ever imagined. You you did a great job. Yeah. I can't wait to eat the pizza. I can't wait to put pictures of the pizza up on my MySpace. I think what the guys at the shop are doing are kind of putting a positive spin on pizza, showing that it is an art form and it is something that everyone can enjoy. When I'm on stage, they all just be thinking about that delicious pie I had and I can even use that in scenes. It's almost a sense memory, just the smells. Jack is a true artist and he really knocked this one out of the park. All right, man, here it is. Oh, all Take right. Take it with you. Oh. Come on, man. All right. Cool. Oh, Rafe seemed like a really good guy. We really hit it off. I really feel like uh, you know we could be uh, probably best friends one day, actually. Thank you. Hey, uh, if you're gonna do the red carpet, man, I'll totally be your date. <laughs> <laughs> All right, buddy. Take care, man. Okay. Have a good one. Bye. It's another day in the shop.